body will be flown by helicopter from here. Possibly to Bethesda Naval Hospital. Other senators have reported that the body will be taken by helicopter straight to the White House. There is some uh, difference of opinion as to the exact plan.
microphones are just about four feet back from an encased area for the press. Senator Aiken, who said, I'm just beginning to realize what happened. President Johnson needs our help. Chief of Protocol, Andrew Biddle Duke, was out here meeting President Lyndon Johnson.
helicopter bearing new President Lyndon Johnson is about to take off. helicopter preparing to take off the rotors beginning take off for the short flight from Andrews at Air Force Base outside Washington to the south lawn of the White House in downtown Washington inside the helicopter you can see aides talking in animated very concentrated conversation. With new President Lyndon Baines Johnson is his wife Lady Bird, who is always at his side, she has been with him in his long road up the political ladder from the days he started out from Stonewall, Texas. disappearing from the field, press dignitaries are moving away. The plane, the presidential plane, the United States of America, it bears no other insignia but that. There the baggage is being taken off, hastily packed. Now the 55-year-old, Brendan Baines Johnson, this is on his way to the White House, the first time he will enter the White House as president. Plus, the arrival in Washington, the body of the late President John F. Kennedy and President Lyndon B. Johnson. President Johnson walked off the aircraft rather slowly, his wife beside him. He walked up to a cluster of microphones and said, this is a sad time for all people. Speaking of the death of the president, he said, it's a loss that cannot be weighed. He called it a deep personal loss. Then President Johnson said, I will do my best. That is all I can do. I ask for your help and God's. That is all he had to say. Uh, we are told that the president's body, which was removed from the aircraft first and casket placed in the naval ambulance, will be taken to Bethesda Naval Hospital, and that uh, tomorrow uh, the president's body will lie in the east room of the White House. Uh, there are no announced plans for any public viewing of the president's body. There will be none tomorrow. Members of the family, top officials of the government, uh, members of Congress, and uh, members of the diplomatic corps will go to the White House tomorrow at specified times to pay their respects to the late John F. Kennedy. Uh, President Johnson is on his way to the White House now. Later this evening, he will meet with Defense Secretary McNamara, with McGeorge Bundy, the presidential advisor, and then with uh, leaders of both parties from the House and the Senate for discussions. Um, he was met at the airport by uh, members of Congress, and the Mansfield was there, as was Senator Dirksen. The first of the helicopters from Andrews Air Force Base has just landed here on the south lawn of the White House. It's about a seven-minute trip from Andrews Air Force Base to the White House. Vice President Johnson, President Johnson, I'm sure that many of us have made that mistake and will repeat it, repeat it many times. President Johnson will shortly emerge from the helicopter to the White House. Immediately after he enters the executive mansion, he will have a meeting with Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara and other presidential advisors McGeorge Bundy. 